It's Misfit Audi, 10 Can Phone, Grandma Kitchen Takeover. What's happening? Hey, man, it's a special guest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Miss Teresa Rayford. Oh, my God, what a pleasure to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm happy and thankful to be here with yes, you. Happy to see you. How yes, are you? Our mom, what's going on with you, baby? How you feeling? Uh, you know, I'm blessed, not stressed. Yes. But, Miss Teresa, I... I just want to ask you, I guess, what brought you in here today? What, why is it important for you to be here? Oh, shoot, my community brought me in today. It's very important to connect with people that you love and people that seek support and want to find ways to be engaged. And so um, I'm all about civic engagement. When they called me and said that the children wanted to honor me, that people were coming together, that Key was going to be here, my little young homie, um, I had to show up. This is like, this is how we do it. I grew up in this part. Yeah, and she's a Northeast for real, from Albania to China. She be representing, and that's what I like to see. Obviously, I've I've seen years. I'm from Portland. I've seen years of gentrification happen here, but like to see at least a homegrown young woman come over here and support the businesses like Miss Keys Loaded Kitchen. It's great. Um, Adi, please tell me something. Yeah. So it's just for me. I would like to know what this event means. Like we know why it's important and, and you said the community brought you out, but what does it mean after on the back of Corona, the back of, you know, our, our state and our, our, the West Coast almost burning Everything. down. Um, what does it mean to have this camaraderie and to see all these wonderful people out here and, and mostly the love that they have for you? Oh my goodness. I mean, it means everything. It means we're resilient people. Yeah. I mean, even before the fires happened, we were responding to COVID yeah. and building mutual aid in our community so that we could find each other in the yeah. things that we needed. We didn't want to wait for Donald Trump. We didn't want to wait for Ted Wheeler, but we knew we could count on the people in our community. Yeah. And we knew that intersectional building was necessary. So you look at, you know, 100 plus days later and us all being here together, everybody healthy, everybody yeah. happy, everybody yeah. together, the children are together. I mean, this is what we should have happening in this community. That's what these parks are for. Absolutely. That's what these neighborhoods are for. That's why we have accessibility so we can come together. And so this is, I mean, this is a very defining moment. I, this is the beginning of the of the beginning. beginning yes. <laughs> yes, it's the beginning of the beginning. I remember um, it, it, it hasn't, it's been a while since I've seen real picnicking. It's been a while, like, <laughs> if you think about it, it's been a while since we've seen anybody's face. But it's been a while. It's been a while since I seen. Yes. So how does it feel to see so many young people that look like you, and that 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 just inspire to be like you? That that you are their motivation. And when you look around, like mm -hmm. they all love you. Like how? Like to be that kind of a staple in the community. What does that mean that's, to you? Like that's the most important thing that I can even think of. My nephew was killed on September 26th of 2010. And Andre meant everything to me, and this community meant everything to him. And he died at 19 years old. So when he died, that's when I became an activist. That's when I started advocating for other people because I wanted our children not only to grow up, I wanted them to be adults. I wanted them to have full lives. And so the fact that we're all fighting for that today, that it doesn't take a tragedy to bring us mm -hmm. together, that it takes the insistence and the consistency of community building to bring us together, yeah. that's what's important. I mean, y'all deserve better. Um, the leaders of the past, we know now through the evidence provided through our protests that it wasn't our fault that all those inequities exist. It wasn't our fault that all those overrepresentations in mass incarceration yeah. and the juvenile justice system yeah. and, yes. and the uh, yeah. foster care system and all those systems, those were not our crimes. Those were not our guilt. Those were the shame of this bureaucracy that we're fighting against. Yes. And the fact that we're all standing together against it in unison speaking up and showing up as a community is yes. everything yes. this is everything see, it's the community behind us what do you think success will look like community success political success what will that look like for you at least in the next year what would that look like it's, it's trusting the leaders we haven't been able to trust the people that we elect to lead us because they haven't been willing to serve us and so just having community not only trust, but lead in the action and the motivation that it takes 
to get someone elected because they trust them. That's different. That's a paradigm shift. That means that when you're in that position, you're not standing in that position by yourself trying to do all the work. You have a commitment from your community to build that community together. And that's what's important to me, having the trust, having the consistency, having the endurance of our community for the right reasons. It's, it's easy to struggle together, but now it's time to build our lives. Build 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 create create i mean we are now hate is what got us donald trump hate is what got us racism and violence and and mass incarceration that is fear and that is hate and we have evidence that that does not serve any of us well it doesn't serve the people who are perpetrating the violence or the hate it doesn't serve the people that are receiving it and it doesn't serve our babies it doesn't serve our futures in order to make the world better in order to get to where we want to be as people we have to do it together it has to be intentional yeah. that's what's necessary right now we have to trust and honor one another like asada shakur says yeah. you know we have nothing to lose but our chains listen we got to stop the violence um they're killing us we got to stop killing us uh, we are about to be extinct if we do not stop killing us listen it's not gangster to go and kill somebody that look like you so for y'all that think that y'all are you know putting on an act or putting on a show man quit you it's foolery it's buffoonery we got to stop killing each other, man. And I'm talking about, I'm in the streets with it. I'm with the streets. And if, on behalf of the streets, we got to quit killing each other, man. We finna be extinct. We finna be in the extinct rings. Um, what does freedom and what does happiness look like to you? Oh, liberation. Let's just say that emancipation, true emancipation through reconstruction. I don't believe in reforming systems that are built to oppress us. I believe in reconstruction. And so liberation is everything to me. Facts. Listen, it's your guy, Misfit Adi, huh? Mess with me, huh? Arma, Pustos, that's what it is. In the community, with the community, boo foo, by us, for us. Tap in, 10 can phone. <laughs> hey, Miss Tree, thank, thank you again. Do you have anything to say before we get y'all? Nah, Black Power, thank y'all. Build community. All love, baby. All love.